Hello Kidlets, Mr. Flick here with another great badge from MyTechBadges.com. Welcome to the fourth level. Okay, iPad Photography Level 4 Advanced Techniques. All right, let's get right into it. Welcome to being some of the few, the only people that make it up to level four. Not everyone gets here, so congratulations. It's great to have you here. Now, as we've talked all the way from the beginning, way back when I introduced what badges were, I told you I started badges because I believed students could use technology to make a difference in the world, okay? That was my whole premise. That's why I got into all this. That's why I make all these videos is because I think you guys can use your technology to do something good with it. And we have a lot of fun in between trying to figure out how this all this technology works, how to be creative, how to do really cool stuff. But this is all about doing that, changing the world with your iPads, with technology in general. Now let me tell you why this is so important, why this badge is so important, why level four is so important. It's because we use all those things we've learned up till now, levels one, two, and three, and we combine them in a way that we make money. No, no, we don't make money for you. We make money for a good cause. Now, if your school is running the festival, which is the Kids Can Make a Difference Festival, what you're doing is you're trying to make a art auction for that festival so that you can earn money towards the charity. Now, your school might be choosing to, to support kiva.org, which I tell all the schools to support, but they also might have something that they support on their own, some foundation, the local cat rescue, something like that. But whatever it is, you are going to use your iPad and you're gonna use photography in a way that you're gonna make such beautiful, beautiful photographs that people are gonna to wanna to pay for them. Okay, you get this? Okay, so you are gonna come up with, I'm gonna show you in this badge how, first of all, I'm gonna teach you two new techniques on photos and we're gonna talk about how to do miniaturization and also how to do um, panoramic shots. Okay, so we're gonna cover those things and then I'm gonna show you how to print them nicely, how to mount them and how to get them ready so that when you have an art auction, people will come and all they're all dressed up and everything and come, ooh, look at all this nice things here and they will put down their name and say, I would like to buy that. Okay, so that's what it's all about so that we can earn money. Your skills will earn money for a charity and it's going to be great. It's good to have you here. Okay, let's talk about what you need for this badge. First off, you need another paid for app. It's called Picasso and it is amazing. It takes your photographs and turns them into beautiful works of art that you can then sell. Okay, so Picasso, that's a really important app for you to have. Uh, next, you need to have some type of photographic paper for your printer. Okay, this stuff here is made by Canon. I use satin finish. I know you're really tempted to go and get the high gloss one, but I've been printing this stuff for a long time and I like how it turns out. This is an example of a nice printed one. Uh, here's another one here, printed up. And they just turn out really nice uh, as the photos. So you need some great uh, photographic paper for your printer. You need some black paper. The only stuff I can find is really big, but it's good because I'm gonna mount my photos to it and then trim them off so they look very professional and people wanna give me money for them. And then you need some glue to mount the photographs to the black paper. And if you've got all that, maybe a nice silver Sharpie would be nice so you can sign your work. But besides that, that's everything you need to be able to earn this badge. Okay, to be able to earn this badge, you need to present for auction 10, 10 photos. You're gonna use all the skills. You might even use some of the photos that you've taken before to be able to have them up for auction for people to buy. Now, let me give you a hint. If you put, now you can't have all the same, so you got a, a, a variety, and we're gonna talk about that when it comes down to your turn, that video, you remember the video at the very end where it's your turn? We're gonna talk about the variety, but let me just give you a hint. When you take photos of your classmates, their parents are very motivated to buy those images, okay? Because they're like, oh, look at how wonderful Timmy looks. And they're like, can I give you $100? No, not maybe not $100, but they will at least buy it so they can take it home and uh, show it to all their friends and things like that. So I'm just giving you some hints. So go with, go with the kids, your fellow classmates, because sometimes that can do good. But you also need, you can't just have just nothing but kids. You need to have other things in there. If your school is not doing the Kids Can Make a Difference Festival, you still, to earn this badge, you at least have to do an exhibition. So you have to uh, get permission from the school and get a piece of the hallway that you can put these up and have them up maybe for two or three days for people to see your work. You've gotta be able to at least do that to earn this badge, okay?
All right, now let's talk about the impressive rating. Hey, it's level four, so you know what we're getting, right? Five grandmas, no problem. Grandma is gonna be freaked out. She's ne she's never actually, she's just never gonna believe you. She thinks you're lying. There's just like, no way you did these on an iPad. And you're like, look, let me show you. I did this and that's how I did it. So anyhow, grandma, five. Your teacher, five, okay? This is level four. They are gonna love your photo exhibit of what you're doing, okay? And then of course your friends, five on the impress your friends scale. I should call it jealousy scale, five. You know, So they are gonna be really, really freaking out when they see that you've done all these on your iPad. And they're, I mean, it's gonna be, they're gonna look like works of art. Let me, let me grab one here. I mean, look at, look at this. I mean, can you see that? It's, oh, oh, the camera doesn't do it justice. It's just hard. Anyhow. Um, Let's, let's stop that now. Anyhow, have fun with this. I will see you in the next video where I'm gonna show you some examples then and then you'll be able to see a little more clearer there. And if you're new to all this and none of this makes sense, that's because you probably hopped in, in in YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then head on over to mytechbadges.com where it's all organized and there's other things, there's other files, there's other things. Uh, so I already said that. But anyhow, it's all organized and it'll make more sense over there. So anyhow, I'll see you in video two where we're going to take a look at some examples so that you can just be like, oh, mama mia, this is what I want.